Well, a family living on Detroit's east side is having a hard time coming to grips with what happened. An early morning fire destroyed their home, but the worst part is that a three-year-old boy and his father were hurt in that fire. It happened on Lakewood Street near Mack and Chalmers, and as Nick Monticelli reports, there's a good chance even more would have been hurt if it wasn't for that father's heroic actions. So this fire started at about four o'clock in the morning, and it's an amazing story of heroism as the father of several of these children was running back and forth inside of this home, trying to save as many children as he can. Today, now he and his three-year-old son are still in critical condition. My son-in-law called me at 3 34 o'clock this morning and told me that the house caught on fire. Edna Paul says she is living in a nightmare. The home where her two daughters, their husbands, and six of her grandchildren live can't be called their home anymore. It's seven grandbabies with nothing. They don't have nothing no more. And they mamas and daddies, they don't have nothing. All their stuff is burnt up. But even worse, the father and son, Stephen and Jason, that are in the hospital, heavily sedated from burns and smoke inhalation. Jason, who is just three years old, appears to be the worst off. My grandson, he was had a got a tube now his throat. He got burns on his left side. Again, there were at least 10 people living in this duplex, so getting everybody out was a challenge. Stephen was going back and forth, getting all of the kids out until he collapsed inside. Detroit firefighters rescued both from the burning home. Yeah, they got stuck and they got burnt and they got soot and in their mouth and throat and he got burnt down in his throat. It's just too much. Again, looking at what's left inside of this home, the Detroit Fire Department says they are still investigating, but they do believe it is accidental and they also believe it started in the kitchen. Uh, Detroit's east side, Nick Monticelli, Local 4. All right, Nick. Fire investigators also say they found an illegal electrical hookup at that home, but don't think it had anything to do with the fire.